Hello, welcome to my channel again. I'm here to do my 100 Lead Code Challenge. Uh, today we have Lead Code 503, Next Greater Element 2. So this question is totally based on the Next Greater Element 1. So if you haven't done that one, please go check it. I will put my link on the description. Uh, I will highly recommend you do that one before you come to this one because the logic and the stack that we're gonna use is basically the same. So now I will just start ask, uh, talking about this question. Uh, for this one, it's giving a circular array. The next element in the last element is the first element of the array. So print the next greater number for every element. So the next greater number of X is the first greater number two is traversing order next in the array, which means you could search circular to find this next greater number. If it does not exist, return next one. So now in here, to find one's next number, the like next greatest number in this circular uh, array, you see two is the next greater number. So we have two. So if for two, you can go to the next number and then go around here and back to itself and see nothing is greater than two. So we turn negative one and two. I mean, this is one. We go right to the beginning of the array and keep going and find two. And then this two is one's next greater array. I mean, element, sorry. So this is the question. And in here, we can start making this array. Like we are looking for an array for output equal to new int. The length for this array is exactly the same as number dot length. So we have the thing done. What we can do is fill this array with all negative one. Because if you the next element doesn't exist, this will be negative one. So we default, make everything to negative one, change. We also need a stack that keep track of all the, in the integer that we are do doing it. Sorry, typing and talking together, just slow me down. Now we look through i is equal to zero. This is the tricky part. For circular array, now for example in here, I want to, for example two, I want to loop through from one and then come back to here. There's one trick you can do is extend this array by two time. So now we have three more space in here. So when we go to one here, Another one in here, which is one, two, three, four, and four mod the length of this array, which is three, will become one. So one is the position here. So you just have this to loop through the length time two. Time is two and I plus plus then you will have all the number for this array by mod mapping the length of this array. So here we need to do something for the while loop. If stack is not empty, similar to the last question, now we're looking for nums. Uh, we have stack.p, right? Same as that one, nums. Uh, now it's tricky part. Divide by ling, I mean nums dot ling. Sorry. So this will be the current index. And current index, current number as bigger than the peak, then we will put the output which is stack.pop. That's the index equal to numbers i 
um, mod numbers dot link. That is it for this question. So we only keep track of, we only put this number once into the stack. So we are limiting, limiting the i less than nums, nums dot link. If i, so now we can have stack, put this integer into the stack only when i is less than the link. So that makes sure I this all index only loop one time. Hopefully that's um, that's clear enough. And now we have the output build it based on the index here. And if that's a new index bigger than the peers index, then we'll put that into the output with that current um, location. Cool. Um, yeah, that's it for this question. Um, if you have any more questions, please comment it below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if you want to know more about this question and please go back and check my video in the description and probably have another understanding, better understanding. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye.